and the Big Apple for the vacant IBF Super Featherweight title of Zinga Fuzili from South Africa just brought his trainer here. That's it. No entourage, no family, nothing. All business for the 25-year-old. But it'll be Ogawa, who's one inch taller, but it's Zinga who will have a two-inch reach advantage here tonight. Super Featherweight title on the line. Fuzile in the white and gold. Ogawa in the red. What's your gut telling you here, Chris? What kind of fight are we going to see? A little bit slow right off the bat. Fuzili is an excellent defensive fighter, utilizes that shoulder roll defense, as you see here. Takes him a little bit of time, usually, to get going. But once he does, he does possess power, especially in that left hand. I can pretty much expect and guarantee fireworks. The clash of styles there, that big right hand from crush right, Kenichi Ogi, Oga, Ogawa, and of course, Fuzili. We know what he can do, especially with that right hook. He's a dangerous counterpuncher, is Fuzile, so don't think Ogawa's getting the best of him when he's landing first. Yeah, one thing to watch for in this fight is that the big right hand of Ogawa is his best weapon, but when he misses, he misses badly, and he dips low to that left, that opens him up for a good counter left from Fuzili. Look at the back muscles on Ogawa. Ogawa trying to bait Fuzile into throwing first, but Fuzili having none of it. Yeah, both of them trying to faint, uh, bait each other right now with, uh, with feints. Fuzili with feints and Ogawa a little bit more jittery with, with his attack. I like the patience so far. Ooh, takes a big left there, but I like the pace so far of Ogawa. He's not rushing in, putting himself in a bad position to get counter punched. And considering he's coming off uh, inactivity, you know, this is good. You know, get the, get the legs under you. This is the first time Fuzile has fought for a world title. And you wonder what the travel plans are going to look like for Fuzile as Several countries have put South Africa on a banned travel list because of the new strain of the coronavirus. Yeah, very fortunate for Zili to get into the country when he did. It would have been a catastrophe if he got it a little bit later. Big right hand for Ogawa, and that affected Fuzile, and they have won in the round. Now that hand shook Azinga Fuzile. Ogawa putting more mustard behind that right hand. You could tell that. He wants to land that right hand. He's aiming at the chest of Fuzile now. Chris Mannix is scoring tonight's bout. How do you have it? Yeah, I've got it two rounds to one in favor of Ogawa. I thought Ogawa stole the second round with the clean shot at the end of it. Same thing with Fuzile. Thought he walked away with the third with that buckling shot at Ogawa towards the end of the round. Well, it's more of a chess match between these two, and one big landed punch can win you the round. There's one right there from Ogawa. This is power chess right here, and power both, chess. And both of them want control of the center of the ring. You know, getting position to win. Well, Gawa told us, I've got to get on the inside in order to win this fight. Is he doing that? Well, no, not yet, because he hasn't had the opportunity. Well, how does he make the opportunity? Fuzili's doing a good job, you know, keeping him away with that long jab. And if you notice, both these fighters have really wide stance. I mean, they're. Everyone thinks that you need a, a shorter stance to carry power, and these guys prove that wrong. A lot of fighters have power with the wide stance. It goes to show the, the defensive prowess of Fuzile because Ogawa's a very accurate puncher, and right now he's having trouble pinning down the southpaw. Right hook there for Fuzile. I like to see more jabs from Ogawa. You know, whenever you're dealing with with a fighter with a slick defense and, and with that lead hand down, you want to punch at the shoulder and you want to double up on the shots just like that. Then you start off your combinations. Shield 
expect him to punch with the puncher right here. One punch changed everything. Can Ogawa catch him again? Fuzile holding on. What a moment in this fight. Halfway through fifth, the fifth round, everything has changed. Fuzile doing the right thing. He has his legs under him, his eyes wide open. He's clinching as soon as he gets the opportunity. Oh, and a big straight right again for Ogawa. Fuzile backpedaling around the ring. He's got 16 seconds to survive. What a right hand on Ogawa. You can see that he has heavy hands and great timing. Technique behind that crushing right hand. And Fuzile will survive this round, but what a bomb landed for Kenichi Ogawa. I'm impressed. Talk about a crush I'm, right I'm coming. impressed with the fact, I'm impressed with the right hand, but I'm more impressed with Fuzile getting up. This was dead on the chin by Ogawa. Would you like to see Fuzile try and push the action forward instead of always going backwards? I don't think that's his game. He's got to stick with what he does best. That's counter punching, fighting on the move. You can't sit there and trade punch with Ogawa. It's too close a fight at this point to start going for broke. Yeah, I think he should get out of this round and, and restart in the second half of the fight. He may not be able to restart. It might be all over if Fuzile doesn't get out of the corner. I think Fuzile's doing nice, ro uh, shoulder rolling nicely right there. Nothing landed cleanly by Ogawa. Yeah, I agree, Sergio. And he just missed with that left hand that caught the attention of Ogawa. There was a right. A quick shot from Fuzile. I've got blood all over my papers over here. Ogawa beaming with confidence in another straight right. Didn't miss on that one. Aimed at the chest first, landed up top. And blood streaming from the eye of Fuzile now. Caught him again. His vision's probably taking compromised. A lot of shots, and you can hear the referee saying you're taking a lot of shots. This is a world title fight, mind you. Zinga's not going to go out quietly. There was that overreaching punch you guys talked about earlier from Ogawa. Fuzili landed that right hook. It, it looked like it kind of caught the attention of Ogawa. I would love to see Fuzili continue that that right hook trying to time Ogawa come in. Stiff jabs as there's a cut now. The right eye of Fuzile, his nose is bleeding. Ogawa's got him backed against the ropes. Will we see some late drama here in the 12th? Oh, a big right hand, and you can see Fuzile's legs wobbly again, and he takes a knee. They should stop this fight. Fuzile's not going to go anywhere. He needs to be safe from himself. Ogawa's mean. It's the last round, Sergio. They should stop this fight, I'm telling you right now. Ogawa is a mean counter puncher. He's going to go straight at Azinga. The referee saying, you're on a short leash, Fuzile. Show me something. Ogawa wants the finish. He One wants minute. the world title. One minute is a lifetime in this sport. So much heart on display here for Azinga Fuzile. Twenty-five seconds to go. Caught him again, takes a knee, and that should do it. Let's see if they wave it off. Stop this fight. He will oh, make it go. to the oh, end. Oh, okay. wow. But what a power wow. punching display from Kenichi Ogawa <laughs> as Japan will now have the new IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World.
a champion of the world in Kenichi Ogawa, but the heart of a champion in Nziga Fuzili, fighting all the way in the end when he had all the chances to just get out of this tough fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' score totals. John McKay and Robin Taylor both scored about 115 to 110. Steve Weisfeld scored about 114, 111. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Kenichi Ogawa. Very interesting scorecards there, Sergio. Had. Azinga somehow won that 12th round. He might have won the fight. When you asked me in the 10th round, how do I have it? I said, listen, I don't think he needs a knockout to win. I don't even think he needs a knockdown. He just needs the 11th and 12th round. And the judges, they proved that. Yeah, 10-7, 10th round for Kenichi Ogawa. And he might have needed it. Either way, we've got a new IBF super featherweight champion. And his name is Kenichi Ogawa. And he is a scary individual. Yeah, he is.